I sustained my concussion about a little over three years ago now. I was a competitive gymnast. On my worst days before really knowing where to go for solid treatments, it was just all day, every day, excruciating headaches. There were days where you just thought, when is this going to end? Is this ever going to end? It was a panic, you know, we were in crisis mode. And she was resting and I was researching. And that's how we found CLF. And I started reading, you know, all of the stories of these other athletes. And when she woke up, I was like, Erin, you're not gonna believe this. You are not the only, you know, kid out there with this, with this problem, this is amazing. You have to read these stories. And actually I had to read them to her because she couldn't even read, you know, at that point. That was really the first time that I had this burst of hope because before that, I didn't know that this happened to other kids. The Concussion Legacy Foundation really is what helped me recover. So I thought, you know, what better thing to do than give back and help in any way possible other kids like me who, you know, are still in the worst part and, you know, need advice and need guidance and need help. I've sustained three lifelong concussions. All have been involved in sports. The one that really triggered my PCS was my second concussion in my eighth grade year. I was in basketball. I fell backwards and hit my head on the gym floor. My symptoms were really bad. Extreme fatigue, headaches, light and noise sensitivity, slow rate of processing, memory issues, anxiety, depression, irritability. I felt like anytime I had my eyes open, I was in pain. Watching her daily activities become, like the simple things, become so difficult. And this vibrant, social, outgoing, incredibly athletic, happy girl having these symptoms of pain and irritability and you start to not recognize your child. And it was really one of the most difficult things I've ever been through as a parent. We had never heard of post-concussion syndrome mm -hmm. before, so the only resource we know to go to is a, a a typical doctor that you anyone would see for any type of sports injury and we had been searching for so long and I felt like I was advocating for myself against family, friends, adults and doctors and no one was listening. I still felt like Kylie needed some additional support, our family needed support and that's when I tapped into the CLF helpline and I told my story, I filled out the form and I hit send and immediately I had a response from Mike. He said, look, I, we're gonna help you, it's gonna be okay, but it was the best feeling in the world to know that there was some sort of support. At that point, he said, um, I'm gonna put you in touch with Carrie and Aaron Payne. When I met Kylie and Tammy, I mean, it was like looking in the mirror. She was just going through exactly what I went through. To meet them, for me, was amazing. I had never met someone else with PCS or even better around my age. And I could just tell from the beginning that they cared about my story. I just felt way less alone. To sit across the table at probably our lowest point um, throughout this experience and to see a mom and a daughter and to see Aaron flourishing and healing, I knew at that moment that there was some sort of hope hope we hadn't felt in a while. When I talk to another parent, I mean, I'll sit for two hours and, and talk to these folks and we'll just, they'll cry and I'll cry. I cry for them, I'm crying for what I've been through. And it's just this bond that you, you have with these people that, you know, it's just immediate. And it was just great to, you know, talk to somebody who's gone through what you have and who knows the struggles and you know, the ups and downs. And most importantly, let people know that it does get better and you will recover. To be able to relay that and give any advice and guidance that I can to somebody who still maybe needs a little bit of assistance, that's the best feeling in the world. We've had this relationship with them for so long that we've been able to watch Kylie and hear about Kylie's recovery, which is so great. I started seeing CLF and Dr. Cantu about six months ago. In that short amount of time, they've made me feel the best I've felt throughout my whole recovery. I was at my absolute worst when I saw them. I just felt like I just couldn't do it anymore. Um, I was sick of living like this, but it made me feel a lot better. I'm now getting out of bed and I'm doing things. I mean, I still have a long ways to go, but they're putting me in the right direction and that's what I needed. 
and the helpline is kind of just one place. It's kind of a safe haven, I like to call it, because people and families can just get what they need. You can find doctors, you can find healthcare professionals, but to find somebody that you can connect with immediately that really understands what you're going through, that you can't, there's no price tag you can put on that. It, it saved our family, it saved my daughter. Honestly, I felt like it saved my life, to be honest. It was, without it, I don't know where I would really be right now.